Welcome to the next video in our series about how to choose the best travel backpack for you. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at aesthetic. And when you break it down, the aesthetic, the look, and the style of a pack is ultimately gonna be important to you as an individual. But we will provide some of our thoughts on different styles, as well as kind of have four different style buckets that we can put you know, different backpack looks into for you to help make your decision a little bit easier. So that first bucket is gonna be minimalist travel backpacks. These are slick designs with a low profile. They are some of the best looking bags for one bag travel, and they do stay the most in line with traditional travel luggage. The next category we're gonna look at are tactical backpacks. So these might have some military influence design on them, and they're gonna have a super high durability and a lot of specifications going on with them. The third aesthetic bucket that we're gonna be taking a look at are outdoor and hiking backpacks. And you're gonna see a lot of these if you go to your local sporting goods store. You know, there's gonna be a lot of brands that are there kind of specifically in use for the outdoors. And these are the types of styles that a lot of backpackers will tend to use you know, on one of their first trips to say Europe or their first extended trip to a different country. And the last aesthetic bucket is going to be heritage style backpacks. So these are backpacks that you maybe would have seen 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago. They have a little bit more of that classic look, maybe use a canvas material, whether that's faux or whether that's real. But this is kind of a bucket that goes for more of a classic look. So without further ado, let's jump right into the categories. When you're in a new country, think a little bit about how you're being perceived. Do you want a super loud, multicolored backpack that's huge? Or do you want something that's a little bit more low profile and nice and muted in colors. We're personally big fans of minimalistic backpacks. We think they have a slick look and they have some high function and they tend to not have a bunch of dangling bits and bobs hanging out of them. Versatility is also another important thing to consider with these minimalistic style backpacks. If you're traveling for a long time, you want something that's very durable, but if it also looks professional, that's great if you do end up having a work meeting or you're trying to look a little bit more polished when you go to a cafe or somewhere public and you wanna hang out for the day. But again, you can still take it out in the wilderness if you need to. Aesthetic plays a big part in how you're perceived and it can be a lot better to look a little bit more professional if you can and it can help you in certain situations, especially work situations. We are seeing a ton of solid urban packs that have been coming out in this aesthetic and they definitely lend themselves to be great one bag travel packs. Again, a lot of this is based on our opinion and goes off of a lot of other travel trends that we've seen other long term travelers kind of have. So you can definitely feel free to have another opinion and that's totally fine with us. The next category will cover our tactical backpacks. So these are usually really high in durability. They tend to be a little bit heavier and all the materials used in them can be fit for a war zone. There are a ton of great high quality backpacks in this category that are super durable and have high amounts of functionality. So some of these bags may have a bunch of Velcro on the outside for morale patches or other Velcroed items. Others might have rows of Molly that allows you to attach additional accessories onto your pack. Molly, short for Modular Lightweight Load Carrying Equipment, is a system of heavy-duty stitched nylon or laser-cut fabric that's used to attach pouches, pockets, or any other type of Molly-compliant gear to one another. The attachment of Molly creates an almost permanent bond when in use, but it's easy enough to detach if needed. This attachment system has become the standard for modern modular tactical gear. And again, these packs are durable and they're basically tanks and they're gonna hold up to the elements wherever you see fit. There's only one thing to consider here. Although these bags are of high quality, you're not necessarily in a war zone and you don't need all that extra durability and all those extra features. So maybe you can get by with a little bit less. It's one thing if your tactical backpack is black and subdued, but it's another if it's filled with digi camo and a bunch of patches and a bunch of different Molly compatibility items strapped to the side. Outdoor and hiking backpacks. Think brighter colors, louder materials. These packs are gonna be what's available if you head to your local sporting goods store. So a lot of outdoor stores sell these packs and there is a lot of utility to the brighter colors. In the wilderness, they're a lot easier to see. If you're in the snow, it's a lot easier to see, you know, a bright red pack that's been buried in the snow 
versus a white one, right? So a lot of this utility kind of lends itself to being outdoors and in the wilderness and doesn't necessarily bring itself to one bag travel. So although they work well in the wilderness and they're gonna be good for you if you go camping for a day or two, once you do get back into that city environment, these can look a little bit out of place. So the next category, we'll take a look at our heritage backpacks. These bags are designed with a classic look in mind. So something that looks a little bit more old school. These backpacks are great, but unfortunately we found that a lot of these fit into the day pack category. There are a couple that are suited for one bag travel, but they're few and far between. If these heritage backpacks are actually engineered, how they used to be engineered, that's gonna require the usage of canvas, which is a very heavy material. It's a little bit harder to pull off this material when you're trying to stay light for specific airlines for one bag travel. So although a bag can have the look and use modern day materials, some of these bags do use the actual material that they would have used you know, 40, 50, or 60 years ago. So maybe canvas, maybe thicker brass buckles, and all this stuff might look cool, but it's gonna add a lot of weight to your travel pack, and I'm assuming that you wanna travel light, especially if you wanna stay versatile. So wrapping it all up or zipping it shut, there really is no best travel backpack for one bag travel, but there is a best travel backpack for you. We hope this guide kind of helped you get further to identifying what's gonna work well for you, your body type, and your personal preferences. If you do have any questions on a specific pack, let us know in the comments below and we'll be sure to try to follow up and answer them, no matter how long this video has been live and published for. And again, this guide is available at packhacker.com in written format, so if that's more your speed, feel free to check that out. We'll do our best to try to keep that updated as we move forward. And if you do wanna keep up to date with Pack Hacker and what we're doing, the gear reviews we're working on, and the other guides that we're working on, head over and sign up for our newsletter and you will never miss an update. So thanks for taking a look at this guide. Again, we hope it was helpful. We'll see you in the next one.